Done. <laughs> John, we've Wait, seen this a thousand <laughs> times. <laughs> Scott is seeing it for the very first time. He's very young. Very first time. Classic role. But I'm into it. In the 80s, right? How cute is Ducky? Pretty in Pink, of course, huge success. John's career, incredible. When you see that, John, do you like it? Do you go back into it? Are you annoyed with me right now? Where do <laughs> no. we stand? <laughs> I am not annoyed in the least. I, I look back on the time that I had hair with great affection. Uh, <laughs> Uh, however, it did take a long time. It took like 45 minutes just to get that hair to do that. Uh, I so it. I, you know, I'm in many ways glad to move on from that. The shoes, though, the Ooh, shoes are back. The, the music is timeless. Yes. We, you, all these movies are getting the kind of like reboot oh, yeah. thing, right? Netflix is taking a lot of them. Hulu's taking a lot of them. Could you ever see a world where Pretty in Pink maybe yeah. gets a... Could you? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. There, I, I know that, that uh, there have been discussions. Uh, I have... You know, I have no news. If I had news, believe me, I'd let you know. Um, but I know people are, are actively talking about that kind of thing. Would you let us know? Would you let us sit would here? No, I would keep you guys out of the loop because <laughs> you know you don't you don't really need to know. Right? John, in your <laughs> book, in your recent memoir, so that happened. You said things were a little frosty on set with Molly and Andrew McCarthy. What was that about? Uh, well, it was because I came from New York City. I'm kind of a loudmouth New Yorker, and uh, as you can see by me having the the Empire State Building right next to me, uh, and uh, and uh, and Molly and Andrew were both very kind of reserved people, uh, and so I had kind of expected the you know I came from the theater where everybody knows everybody and everybody's these outsized personalities and and you're all crammed together and you have to work together, but a movie's not like that you know you show up and you do your job and then you go home, uh, and I kind of expected that camaraderie that you get uh, uh, from from the theater. On a movie, and it didn't it didn't happen, you know. And so I think uh, I think that was part of it. I just sort of assumed that because they were so remote, they just didn't like me. Mm. I later found out that uh, Molly actually did like me. Um, Andrew, however, didn't. But, <laughs> and, uh, uh, but now we get along fine, actually. Uh, and I, I ran into him backstage at the View, as a matter of fact, uh, and we had a lovely conversation. He's a he's a terrific travel writer oh, yeah. as well as a director. Uh, and still acts. Yeah, we had him on with his book, The Big Travel Stuff. Okay, there then on Two and a Half yeah. Men, did you parlay the other way? Like, hey, Charlie, I'm just going to act, and then I'm out. <laughs> and I'm out. <laughs> and then I'm out. Yes, that was my deal. No, we had a great sense of camaraderie on that. That was more like the theater, because you do a show every Friday night. So, so that was, you know, very comfortable for me. We had a great time. Oh, we're looking back now. Gosh. I mean, th there was some craziness oh. that did ha go on. Yes. When you look back at some of that time, is there a conversation, is there a moment that sticks out to you in particular? Uh, well, you know, it was, it was, I mean, it, it was crazy. It was, as you said, uh, uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was, it was way more craziness than I, I really was hoping for, honestly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, um, and I, you know, there, there isn't one moment, uh, you know, uh, uh, it was, it was tough to watch a guy who I had seen, uh, you know, when we started the show, Charlie had been sober for a while and, uh, and was really, uh, really in control of his life. And uh, and it was tough to see that go away. Mm. I would say, you know, that that was the the hardest part of, of being involved in that process. But actually doing the shows was always great. Two hundred. Um, there was never a time when it wasn't great. You were in great. every single episode, and it really was unmatched. When y'all were firing on all cylinders. Yeah. Oh Thank my you. gosh, I love it. Have you talked to Charlie? I have not. I've not in a not in a couple of years. Uh, uh, you know, it it. it it's the kind of thing that it's kind of a, a roller coaster when you have Charlie in your life, and I just haven't decided to get back on that roller coaster. <laughs> I hear that. You want to go? I, hear that. Tick, 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 tick. Right? I love it. But he, he there, people have been talking about yeah. a reboot, maybe d coming back to do the show again. He wants it. He's could in. you? Would you? Would you? Could you? Again, I'm not sure about getting on that roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> I love that uh, he's dead, but we love a flashback. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yes, exactly. Or Scott said Nobody's his twin brother Chuck. Chuck! Chuck is in town and he wants his money. Yes. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> We've done the hard work. We did it for you. Wait, John, Thank you. I know you're here. <laughs> we got to talk about your daughter, Daisy, before we go. Tell us about her comic book. Oh, God. Well, I didn't mean to. What, what happened was my, my daughter decided at one point with a friend of hers, her friend Stella, that she was going to write uh, a, a, a version of Star Wars except with narwhals. Uh, which makes total sense. Uh, uh, and and I, she did it and did a great job and she finished the comic book and I put, I posted a picture on my, on my Twitter account because I'm a proud dad. 
Uh, and then uh, Mark Hamill liked it and said, uh, she's, I mean, uh, your daughter is a visionary. I mean. uh, and then Rian Johnson, uh, the director of uh, Last Jedi, also chimed in. And, uh, uh, and the thing went nuts. And people are, are asking for this. What's great, uh, I can't wait for the cease and desist order from Disney <laughs> to arrive uh, at my doorstep. Um, but I'm still, you know, still incredibly proud, and I believe she's working on the sequel as we speak. That is so cool. Listen, when you get a co-sign from Mark Hamill, Disney can sit down. <laughs> I, exactly, exactly. John, tell it. Lisa, your wife, we said hello, and thanks for joining us. Come back anytime.